to find out what version of Windows operating system you have, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, what you need to do is go down to the Start button, click it, go over to Computer, and then you want to right-click that. Dialog pops up, left-click Properties. Then you'll have the properties for your system will pop up over here, and it'll show you what your system is. And right here where it says System Type, notice it says 64-bit operating system. If it's a 32-bit, it'll show 32-bit there. So that's what you need to do to find out what you have to start with, whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit, because it makes a difference when you're installing the software properly. Hi, folks. In this video, we're going to show you how to install our plugins in Photoshop CC, that's Photoshop Creative Cloud, on the Windows 7 operating system. First thing you want to make sure of is that you don't have any applications open in the background. So what you should do is just do a restart on your system. Let your system get started up, everything settle down. Make sure nothing's running in the background and make sure that you're logged in as the administrator. Then you want to open up your browser and go to Imaginomic.com. You want to go over to the main menu and you want to put your mouse over download. Do not click the word download. It'll open up another menu. Just move your mouse down to portraiture and click that. The Portraiture download page will then open up. You click on download, and you may be prompted to enter an email and then click the little submit button there. Once the plugin downloads, click it, open it up. If you're prompted, do you want to run this file? Click run. The installer screen will pop up. Click next. I agree. Click that. Do not change that destination folder. Click next. You'll come up with the Choose Host screen. Here we're going to have to add this Photoshop CC Plugins folder. So click Add. Now here's where most people make their mistakes. You can have a 64-bit version of Windows 7 or you can have a 32-bit version of Windows 7. If you have the 64-bit version of Windows 7, click on the arrow beside Computer, C, scroll down until you find Program Files, Click the arrow beside it, beside Adobe, and then beside Adobe Photoshop CC. Notice it says 64-bit there. That's very, very important. Click the arrow there, and then just single-click the word plugins. It'll highlight it. Click OK. And now you're going to be asked if this is a 64-bit host. This is where a lot of people mess up. If you've got a 64-bit Windows operating system, you will click Yes here. If you have a 32-bit operating system, you will click No. So in this case, because it's 64-bit, we're going to click Yes. You see that the path is added to the host selection. We click on Install. It installs, and then Finish. Now we're going to open up Photoshop CC. Notice it doesn't show up what version is running in there. Uh, for some reason, they took that out. Normally, it will show X32 or X64. We're in Photoshop CC now. To make sure what version you're running, you can go up to Help, System Info. The System Info will pop up, and you'll see X64 out there, right there, X64. That means you're running the 64-bit version of CC. We're going to open up an image. Go up to Filter, Imaginomic. And there's portraiture, just like we installed it. Click portraiture, and there it is. To install the other two plugins, Noise Wear and Real Grain, you would do exactly the same thing. Go back to the Downloads page, download Noise Wear, install it, follow the same process, add the host in there. But make sure that you add the host for the proper version of the operating system you have, and for the proper version of Photoshop CC you're running. It's kind of confusing. Sometimes you will run the 32-bit version, and if you run the 32-bit version of it, I'll show you what happens. We're now in the 32-bit version of Photoshop CC. As you can see, it says X32 there. We're going to open up an image. Now we're going to go to Filter. And you notice there's no Imaginomic portraiture there. 
it's because we're in 32-bit CC. This is one of the biggest things we have coming back through support is that people are running the wrong version of the Photoshop CC for the version of portraiture that they have installed. You can install it in the 32-bit version, but you're going to have to tell it no at the end of that process when it asks you if this is a 64-bit host.